hello guys welcome back to another video so today in this video we will gonna see uh, how you can download a freely available world uh, world uh, world level land use land cover map which has been generated at 10 meter spatial resolution using sentinel data by european space agency so this product is known as esa world cover 10 meter 2020 so if you go on google if you type esa world cover you will get this uh, link esa world cover dot org click on that so you will be directed to this website so it will tell you about the it will give you the information about the data so it's a new baseline global land cover product at 10 meter resolution for 2020 based on sentinel 1 and sentinel 2 so this data is has been i think developed by, by the collaboration of four or five institute they have given you know, un wri fao <coughs> so this is freely available so after that you just you have to click on data access and here it will give you the information about the license that you can use free of charge you have to cite how to cite the data set and a product user manual just click i will open it new tab so it will give you the information about the product then uh, products valid validation report and how to download this data so, so three or four ways of downloading the data first is basically you can uh, use this world cover viewer i will open new tab so this is the world cover viewer you can from where you can download the geotiff files for your particular area of interest or, or for the whole world around 120 GB I think then it is also hosted in the Google uh, Google Earth engine and they have created an app for that so you can visualize the data on the Google Earth engine app also and then you can also consume this data set as a service such as WMS or WMTS service in your web GIS or in the portal but this this will give you a simple tile, tiles kind of thing so you can access the actual data only RGB images or tiles will, will be there just for the visualization purpose you can consume this in, inside your webgis or anywhere even in the qgis also you can add these services after that downloading you can download using world cover viewer which i told you already then you can consume the data using the python so they have the ap uh, you, they have the package you can using pip you can install this and they have given the code how to access the data then on the amazon web service also cloud it is available in Zenodo also and also in Google Earth, and it, uh, Earth Engine it has been hosted so you can directly access the data you can download the data through Google Earth Engine also and you can use in your uh, you can any, any application in the Google Earth Engine for masking your agriculture area or urban area or satellite images anything so you can do that also so first of all we'll just click on this world cover viewer so this is the world cover viewer then you have to you have to basically for downloading you have to register so I have already registered just you have to give your email and just some of the information how you want to use the data set and everything after that you have to just log in so I have created already so I have just log in give the username and give the password after that you just select here download uh, just click on the download here so it will give you the ok world cover map you can download the current view on the view whatever data is available you will be able to download or you can draw the area of interest or you can select the administrative boundaries so it depends on you administrative boundary also it will give you two information country level or region level so it depends on you how you want to download the data so what i will do instead of the region because the region will be i think state level what i will do i will select the draw area of interest suppose my area of interest is this so i will draw a polygon like this so it will highlight the four tiles so these are the four, ti four tiles which are available which are covering your particular area of interest i think three by three degree uh, one tile is there so just click on next so you have to select the product first so i will select shift all four product by sel by uh, using the shift button and click you can select all the four just click on next and it will give you the eight products are there total four tiles so just download it so it will start download here like this you can these are the four products you can click on next and you can download like this so it will start download the data set here so it will show you the progress of the data also one percent two percent so you can download i have already downloaded the data so i will cancel this so it will give you a zip file having all the uh, data set so let me just show you how the zip file looks like this is the zip file i have unzipped it so just go inside that so these are the four tiles inside each tile data will be there one is a quality image one is this image so you can go on any gis software i am using qgis here because it's open source and freely available so one by one i will just 
add the data set so like this these are the data sets four data sets if you zoom out if you click on anywhere it will give you the band value 40 so all this information is given in this uh, uh, this product user manual as you can see here it will give you about the classes somewhere on the page number I think page number 13 10 20 30 they have given the class like this 10 20 30 50 up to 100 so 11 classes are there so 10 is tree cover 20 is shrubland 30 is grassland 40 is cropland 50 is built up and they have given the description also so what is under tree so these are the uh, class uh, definition about the classes basically so like this as you can see this is agriculture land 40 this is 50 urban land then this is trees i think 10 then shrubland and everything so this is how you can download after that you can mosaic this data you can cut for a particular region of interest you can generate stats statistics and all so this is how easily it is available and you can download the data and th this data set earlier isri also has developed one uh, land use land i think but this mu this is much better than the isri one at least for some part of uh, india i have checked now this is the one of one way of doing it another way of downloading it basically using the google earth engine also so if you go on google and if you type esa land cover earth engine so you will get this esa world cover 10 meters so if you click on this so it will give you the information about the earth engine uh, uh, it will give you information about the bands also so band is one only map these are the classes 10 20 30 what is what are these classes and it will give you the code also so you can you, you can import call the data like this otherwise you just copy paste this code and let me just also on the world cover also you can visualize this on uh, on google earth engine app they have developed you can just uh, swipe the data and you can see the quality of the data so let me go to the code editor of the google earth engine and I will just copy paste that code which I have copied from there. Let me just, <coughs> yeah, I'll just copy or, or directly you can click on open code editor. I'll just copy paste. And if you run this, so your data set will load. So I will go to the Indian region and here you can make the satellite as a babe to visualize the data okay to see how well it has classified or how what is the accuracy kind of thing just a qualitative accuracy you can see as you can see here this is the urban area red one this is the agriculture area so somehow it, the classification is more or less okay so like this should be under trees i think yeah as you can see this green is tree so classification is more or less okay as you can see this is all our <coughs> dense vegetation or tree kind of thing so classification is okay i think and this all our agriculture area after that if you want to download from here so this is the whole region as you can see but if you want to download for your particular area of interest so you can draw suppose i want to download for this here is the option of download polygon and uh, polygon and rectangle so i will draw a rectangle here suppose this is my region of interest so here the geometry has come here just change the name like ry and after that just here write clip roi so it will just only clip the data for your particular area of interest just switch off this so this is the data set you have after that for exporting the data you just copy paste this you just use this particular piece of code for downloading the data here and here you just give the region also roi and comma so this is the image is data sets because this is the data set you have to give the name region region is roi roi description you can give anything name so i will give esa lulc 2020 and scale is basically the pixel size this is the maximum number of pixel it will export when you run this so under the task it will give you this one option if you click on run so now this is the, the file name uh, you can give the 
projection 4326 and just give the name is fine and if you run this so it will download the data and it will upload in the google drive so let me just go to my google account So here if I go to my drive so it will download yesterday I have downloaded some of the tiles so it will download the data like this as you can see here these are the tiles so it's uh, if your data if your area of interest is big so it will download in the form of tile then you have to move out just like here it will download as a tiles and then you have to move out here also if your area of interest is very small then it will download in a single tile also that depends on the area of interest. So like this, it will upload in your Google Drive. Then from here, you can download it pretty quickly like this download. So this is, I think, so it will show you the tick mark once it, it has been completed. Another thing you can do if you if you have your uh, shape file, suppose you can upload here under the asset, you can go upload your shape file here, select the files and you can uh, upload the shape files. These are the allowed extension you can select and after that it will be listed here suppose let me just take the india state boundary here and by clicking on this arrow it has been imported here so let me just india st name so now if i use this india st and i will use india st in for roi and this let me just and here also india st i will give so when i run it so now it will load the data set for but for whole india because my shape file is of india region of interest and again it has given me task for downloading i will not download this so like this you can use a shape file also and further inside the shape file if you want to use something particular state or something so you can go here you can write var is any variable st and then you can use it india st dot filter you can further filter bracket ee dot filter and bracket then you can write uh, the column name like column is state underscore name and equal to what is the value so let me just go for Haryana. so this is the st now instead of this i will use st here and i will use st here region so when i run this again okay so here i have to write eq equal to ee filter dot eq just like this do like this yeah as you can see now when I run this, so it will only give me the LULC for my particular Haryana state. Like this, you can use the shape files also. And you can use the satellite boundary as the background. And another thing what you can what you can do, let me just go for let me just Haryana only. And here one more thing you can do. If you want to just see one class. So after that you can create another variable data set agree so is equal to data set means data set means this one this data set dot update mask and just give bracket equal to eq and particular class it will load so you, class you can check from here suppose i want to see the agriculture crop plan so it is 40 so what i will do i will just like 40 here and then i will add data set agree here add and if you want to download the only agriculture class so you can just copy paste this here so it will download that class only now if i run this I think it is showing some equal. 
okay sorry here also i have to write uh, data set dot equal to 40 so now it will run so basically data set dot updates update mask data set is this one equal to 40 so 40 class it will load as you can see now you just select this satellite one and if you select only one class 40 class has been loaded so you can verify you can zoom in zoom out and you can verify so as you can see the classification is more or less okay so it has not classified this as agriculture so it has left this so i think classification is more or less okay only so if you make it 10 so it means trees so now this class should come here as you can see this so all the trees kind of thing will come as you can see here this so classification is more or less okay and if you go for 50 so you will be able to load urban areas so like this one by one you can check the classification also so i will save this script ESALULC test. So I will share this script in the description. So it is still downloading. So you can download if just if you copy this data set agree here. So it will download the agriculture class only. So like this you can filter area filter class or area based on you. So or using inside the earth engine is much much more practical for me. You can query the data very easily otherwise you have to download the tile mosaic it then you have to see that you don't have any image in the background here you have the image in the background like water also you can see open water is 80 so you make it 80 so now water will be loaded as you can see these are the water so these are the water canal is there so it's a much more practical way of doing it so I will share this you can make a full screen and then you can see this urban areas so classification is more or less okay so I think classification is more or less okay if you see so this is how you can use this data set so I will share the I will see, I have already saved it uh, so let me just add a data set only here and here also region of interest i will remove so you can clip ba uh, based on your area of interest just you have to add clip so i'll save it so i will share the i will give the link of this script in in the description so you can use it on your end so these are the few of the ways i think this is for web map service another way for consuming it and if you want to use python also they have given so i think uh, that's it from this video guys please give a thumbs up to video if you face any problem just leave it in the comment i will try to respond thank you thanks for watching